Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. In front of us we have Mr. Naif. Uh, he said, I said, I don't know what his name is. He is saying, uh, Arab uh, for Christ, uh, come here, debate me in front of all people. Don't run away. You just talk too much. You know, I stay for hours, six hours sometime online waiting for a Muslim to call me and then he says, come here, debate me. Without any point, you said Jesus create Quran talking about created from nothing or Abraham also he gave life to the birds if you use some verses use it all when you say Jesus the father I gave him all the authority but you forgot that Jesus gave the authority to what let us see what more to Peter that's mean Peter now is your God and and number 23 does not say he is only not to lie it says he is not a man or nor son of a man abdul listen the verse is there everybody can read it and you are you know i don't want to use a bad word but you are stupid it says neither he is not a man who lie lie what what is suspicious about the man that he does lie now jesus never lie same time our god is not a man Abdul. This is what the Christianity teach. That's mean you are an idiot. Until now you do not know what Christianity is about. Not a single Christian believe that God is a man. The Bible from first verse in chapter in, in chapter one in John, verse number one and verse number fourteen. You can read all the way if you know how to read. It says, In the beginning it was the word, and the word was with God, and the word is the God. And the word in verse number fourteen became a flesh. Not God not not the flesh became God so we don't worship the flesh of a man we believe that God came to us in a form in the likeness of a man as it's written in the book of act so he came to us in the likeness of a flesh a sin sinful flesh what does that mean a human being is sinful so the Messiah came to us in a form of sinful flesh but yet he have no sin so stop being stupid uh, the whole point of that verse that God is not a man who lie otherwise in the Old Testament we know that God he came to Abraham and he came to him as a man hello <laughs> I remember when the idiot uh, did that he said that the Jews don't believe in what Christian believe that God is a man or he come in a form of a man first of all the Jews don't believe that God is a man the Christian don't believe that God is a man but they believe that can come in any form he want and this is what happened in Genesis 18 in Genesis 18 we see the story of Abraham where he visited in this earth by the Lord Almighty himself so here you see that Abraham he was in his you know inhabitant and the three men stood by him and when he saw them he ran to meet them from the tent door and bowed himself toward the ground and said my lord if now i have found favor it, it, it so you can read the rest so here you will find that the lord is coming to abraham this is not a new uh, let us say uh, theory of god coming as a man christianity believe in it the jews don't believe in it god came as a man before and god is capable otherwise why is god if, if your God cannot come as a man, it means he is not qualified to be God. And he is not capable of doing it. Now, if we go in the Quran, you mentioned to me that Abraham, he did give life. That's very stupid of you, and this is very insulting for your God. You are just saying, you are just claiming now, that your God, he have partners who create lives additional to him. And now you add it not only jesus so now you have uh you know uh, abraham uh, but before we go to abraham he said that uh, uh jesus he gave the authority to peter you see you just shot yourself in the foot if not in the you know because if jesus gave the authority to peter how you explain to me peter to be a prophet but yet he give authority to peter do you see how stupid what you just said you just proved to us that Jesus is God because nobody can give authority to any man in earth unless he have the authority and the one who have authority is God and what Jesus gave to Peter proving that the Messiah 
is the one who have the authority for he is a divine the divine God in earth so he came to us in the flesh so when Jesus speak about I been given the authority from my father he's speaking about the seed is flesh flesh of a man but I'm speaking to you with the authority for I am the Word of God and the Word of God is God that's why when they said to him why you don't show us the father and that said he said me like don't you see me and until now you did not know me until now you didn't. the one who see the see me he saw the father the one who saw me he saw God so can Muhammad say the one who saw me saw Allah absolutely not so you are wasting your time I being who in the world can say such a thing that Jesus he claimed that if you see him you see God himself so look what they said to him he said Jesus said unto him I have not been so long time with you and yet has though not know me now what what uh, uh, what Philip uh, uh, asked the Messiah let us go and see the verse before it better than just reading this verse let us see if you read here actually let me try to play the the audio so we can hear together actually I advise you to read it from the beginning of the chapter and you will see that Jesus went like I am the way and the truth How, what what the way what truth truth is God one actually one of the names of Allah in the Quran is Al-Haq and this is a name stolen from the names of Jesus for he said I am a truth Al-Haq is a name of God for nobody is a is, is the truth save God everything you know what what the truth mean truth is something will never be demolished something real something is eternal like we can say like he is saying the truth this is this is true but there is something only one it is the truth which is eternal and nothing can change it and that is God so when Jesus says I am the truth and then Allah he Muhammad God he copied from Jesus saying I am the truth I am the way you see he didn't say I am a prophet he said I am the way I am the truth he didn't say God is the truth he said I am for he is God so then we will see that they wanted to know more so Philip said to him well Lord and the Muslim they say where Jesus being called God and he announced himself to go to call God God Lord here is God show us the father okay you are the son of God which means God in flesh can you show us the father the almighty father in heaven he said and that will be enough for us Jesus said to him have I been so long time with you and yet hast thou not know me Philip what does that mean Jesus explained he said he that has seen me had seen the father and you are asking me to show you the father so how more clear we can show it to the Muslim that Jesus saying that he is the father and his God and yet the idiot they say to you where Jesus said God I did that he's saying that is the, I tell them I, I was like a night but it's a if you thought the whole Bible you will not find one chapter in the Bible that said Jesus said I am God worship me no what idiot you did says there I am God and they worship him it's in the front of you they are calling him Lord they are bowing down for him they call they worship him there is tons of verses of the Bible speaking about people worshiping Jesus and here he's saying the one you see him the second you see him you are seeing God the person he's not asking to see Jesus he's asking to see the father show us the father and that will be enough for us satisfy for us he said the one who saw me I am with you all this time and you don't know me yet Philip the one who saw me he saw the father and then he says believe in me or believe uh, we, we, we don't want to uh, skip this one uh, believes uh, though not that I am in the father and the father in me the words that I speak unto you I speak not of myself but the father who do with me what does that mean in the flesh God in the flesh the, the man is speaking to you he is not speaking of himself remember the person is asking to see the father but yet you see Jesus you see the father 
You hear Jesus, you hear the Father. You listen to Jesus, you believe in Jesus, you believe in the Father, and you believe in Jesus in the same time, for that is God in the flesh. And then you say, you see, the I verily I say to you, no, let us go here. Believe that I am in the Father and the Father in me. Can Muhammad says I am in Allah and Allah in me? <laughs> anyway, so if we go back here, we see this Abdul desperately trying to find uh, and then this Muslim he continues saying that in the book of Hebrew it says Jesus is the greater and then in Musa's uh, than Musa's but in the book of uh, you know in the Old Testament it says uh, that uh, Musa's is uh, you know the greater I mean how that can happen and I say as I say always Muslims they have a lack of intelligence you know because what you are seeing here Abdul let us say Today is the year 2018, and I say there is no greater than me as a teacher for Islam. But this is in my time. And Jesus came long after Musa, you Abdul idiot. So, and it's not talking about a prophet here. Jesus is not a prophet. They call him a prophet for he prophesied, but he, this is one of his names. He been call him, they call him Lord, they call him Master, they call him Rabbi, they call him Prophet. God is the only prophet in the world. Otherwise, all the other will call them prophets. They are just speaking what God prophesy. So the word of prophet actually fit only with God himself, not with the man. The man, he deliver the prophecy which is coming from God. So when he say he prophesy, supposedly, he is not really, the word is not accurate. You know, he is, it's not truly accurate because the prophecy is coming from God, not from him. It's not him who prophesy, but language is limited. And when they say uh, someone is a prophet, it meant like the mean including that he is speaking of God saying to him. Otherwise, if a man prophesy only from him, that is not from God and he is not a prophet. Let us say he succeed to predict something to happen, but it might be luck. It might be, uh, you know, uh, this guy is so uh, smart to the point uh, sometime like okay uh, um, I can predict okay the economy is bad uh, people are angry uh, there's no jobs and then we will have revolution so I predict revolution but this is not about really knowing the unseen it's more more of like uh, uh, let us say studying uh, uh, the pattern of a human nature and, uh, of life but here we are not speaking about Musa's when Musa's was exist in the time of Jesus so you are missing the point because you are Abdul. If if the book says, let us say not Musa, anyone. Let us say in the time of Elijah, says Elijah is the greatest prophet. And then there's a verse says Musa was a great prophet. And then the verse says uh, uh, Ezekiel is a great. Every prophet is speaking about it, about him in his time. All right. Same time. If it says there is no greater until now than Musa, then now greater until now. Not after Musa's. So don't be stupid and don't be fool. Uh, uh, like, did you ask Ibn yourself, who is the one who wrote this book? You don't even know, right? Yeah, you are, you are Abdul. So you are comparing between two things. They have no connection with them. Now, you said that uh, Jesus, he did not abolish the law. And he said, I did not come to abolish the law. And that means that Musa's is higher than him. That is a very stupid statement from you because this is not the law of Moses. You see, when we say the law of Moses, that because Moses is the one who been delivered the law, but this is not his law. This is the law of God. Moses has nothing to do with it. Unless it is Moses law, which means something Moses said to his people to do. So it says here, think not that I came to destroy the law. Which law? This is not the law of Moses, this is the law of God, which means his own law. Or the prophet, which means what the prophet taught you, be, taught you before me. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill, which means there is nothing to be destroyed, but something to make it perfect. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one just or uh, one uh, 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 title shall not uh, wise pass from the law. Till to be all to be uh, uh, be fulfilled 
Now, here you will see Jesus is speaking about the law, which is his law, not the law of the prophet. The prophets are his servants. And then he says, read with me carefully. For I say to you, that except your righteous shall exceed righteous of the scribe, the Pharisees, etc. And then he says, you have heard that it was said of them of all time. This is the law being delivered to you before. That shall not kill. So what the law? You shall not kill. And whoever shall kill shall be in danger of judgment, which means he will be killed for killing. But I say to you, do you see the word but? But here, it is the authority of Jesus. So now he is fulfilling the law. The law is given to you for a certain time for a reason, but I perfect the law for you. But I say unto you, now hold on. Here, this is the law. Well, what is the additional? The additional is Jesus fulfilling the law. He is making it perfect. But I say to you, that whoever is angry with his brother without the cause shall be in danger of judgment and whoever shall say to his brother Raka shall be in danger of cancel but uh, whoever shall say do fool shall be in danger of hellfire that is Jesus the God is speaking so you are saying to me that Jesus did not destroy the law of Moses that's because you are ignorant for Jesus is the law uh, 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 Oh, sorry, the, the, the law of Moses is the law of the Messiah, not the law of Moses. Moses is just a man deliver. And this is why he says, it been said to you, but I say to you. So is he here now destroying? No, he's making complete. Same as the stoning, same as a divorce. So uh, uh, like as an example, the Jews are allowed to divorce and they used to divorce. And even the same as Muslims, they, you know, they abuse women. They, they marry them for a certain time. They get older. They go and marry a brand new wife, the same as the Muslims do. So Jesus, he said, it's been said to you. It's been said to you. Go and search in the Bible. It's about it's been said to you, but I say to you. Who is he to say, but I say to you? For he is the lawmaker and Moses is just his servant. Who is the one giving the authority for the Messiah to complete the law, to fulfill the law, and even to change what is they used to do, the habits, the, the way to practice the law. As an example, the Sabbath, the one who break the Sabbath should be killed. The Messiah said to them, the Sabbath was made for the man, not the man was made for the Sabbath, but he did not break the Sabbath really. He just made them understand that they are ignorant and they do not understand what the Sabbath is about. So you are speaking of something you have no idea. Jesus is not obeying the law of Moses. It is Moses obeying the law of Jesus. Jesus is not obeying the law of the Jews. Jesus is showing us that he is the best example to follow the law that's which he made. So when, imagine we have a president, he make a law, but he is the one who says, okay, uh, nobody can cross the light when it's red, but him and his family, they cross the light when it's red. That is the worst example. And that's what Muhammad, Muhammad, he said to them, don't approach your wives when they have their period, but yet the idiot, he was sleeping with them when they have their period. And we can give you tons of example. So Jesus here is the law maker, maker and this is why he's saying here, but I say unto you, the Jews will say, who, is the, who are you to say that to us? We have the law already. Who are you? What do you mean? And that continue all over the Bible about Jesus saying, I say to you, I say to you, but I say to you, are you with me? You have heard that was said to them of all time that shall not commit adultery. Okay, so what the law? Don't commit adultery, but I say to you, that who has ever looked at a woman to lust after her had committed adultery with her already in his heart. So hear the law. So what is the need of this? For this is the law too. The law of the maker of the law is now more perfect. It was given them for a certain time and now it is time to fulfill for the Messiah is between us. So all of this and you are saying to me that Messiah is not higher than Moses. Who is Moses? Moses is no one compared to the Messiah. And you can keep reading all the chapter in the front of us. You will see all of it. It says, it's been said to you, but I say to you, it has been said, whoever shall 
put away his wife let him give her a writing or of divorce that's it this is the law so when people they practice this they are not breaking the law they have the right to divorce look what jesus said but i say unto you that whoever shall put away his wife saving for the cause of fornication causes her to commit adultery so this is a new vision of the law and this is a new let us say a, a, a high quality uh, uh, forward for people to live with high standard let's say so Jesus here when he speak about fulfilling the law this is his law not the law of Moses and you can read keep reading with me saying Jesus saying but I say to you but I say to you but obviously it doesn't matter you Muslims how much I say to you you will stay as they say in China he lived as a donkey he never came back as a horse same time when you mentioned to me the story of Abraham, because I want to go to Abraham, all what you gave me have nothing to do with, uh, uh, with, with our topic. You said Abraham, he gave life. And I'm so glad that you mentioned this because this is showing me that you Muslims are pagan and you believe that there's many can give life. Look at this. This is your words, not my words. Abraham all say he gave a life to the birds. Be my witness, everybody. Abdul Muslim believed that Abraham gave lives. So now he said, and look with me here, he said also. I hope you can see that with me. He didn't say Abraham gave life only. He said also. What also mean? It means Jesus and Abraham, which means count with me. So how many now we have according to you give life? Abraham? And also here replacing Jesus. Plus who? Plus Allah. Okay? Plus Allah. Alright, so now Allah and Abraham and Jesus, they give life. So why you call Allah the creator? That's very stupid of you to say. Same time. If we go to the chapter, I ask you, where are you going to, where do you get this from? Uh, and I know actually what you will quote for me, but I want you to, to say it. So we can make fun of the stupidity of Islam. If we go here, we will find the following. He go down. You will see. I ask him. There is no such such a verse in the Quran. Give me the verse. I'm waiting for you. Here we go. I said to him, false. Nowhere in the Quran it says Abraham gave life. You better show me the verses so we can laugh at what you said. I'm waiting, and I know exactly what he will quote for me. And this is why I wanted him to post it for us. So thankful for him, he did. <laughs> and I cannot his state to be beaten. Arab for Christ. Okay. But what about other comment? Matthew says, well, well just wait. wait. What is the what is the post for him? He said about Abraham. He gave me the verse. Where where? Maybe here. Uh, let me find it. Hold on. Yeah, actually here, I miss it. I jumped over it by mistake. The Arabian Prophet, Surat Al-Baqarah 2, verse number 260. You see, you are posting for me a translation. I'm going to read your translation. I, I feel sorry for you. You see, when I say Muslims are fool and they are slow, and I say they don't even understand the religion, I don't, I'm not, I'm not insulting. Read with me carefully. And remember, I'm posting, I'm reading your translation. I will not read to any, uh, this is the translation you accepted, this is the one you post for me, let us see. Okay, and mention, when Abraham said to my, uh, said, my Lord, show me how you give life, you idiot. Do you see it? <laughs> so how you say to me, also Abraham gave life? I mean, who is the dumb here? You Muslims, you are, what's wrong with you? St stop drinking camel urine. Abraham also he gave life. But the verse you gave me, it says, Abraham said to Allah, Lord, show me how you can give life. And the story is very funny. Allah said to him, okay, go and get the four chicken. Four, four chicken? Why four chicken? I mean, can't you make it a thrifty chicken? Why four? Isn't it enough to make one chicken come back to life? Why four? Honestly. I want any Abdul to explain to us why for chicken. So he said to him, my Lord, show me how you give life uh, to the dead. 
Allah said, have you not believed? Hmm? What a conversation, man. Allah, obviously, Abraham don't believe. So he said, uh, yes, I believe, but I ask uh, that my heart uh, may be satisfied. Uh, what? That's obviously, you don't believe. You are, you, are, you are testing God. You are telling him, prove to me that you are God. How? By making a foreign chicken alive. And look now what Allah said to him, the smart Allah. Okay, Allah. Okay, Abraham. Abraham, go and get four chicken. Be sure there is there are roosters. By the way, they are roosters, not chickens. So Allah said, take four birds, four chicken, and uh, you know, cut them, slaughter them, and put them in the top of four hills. How you can find four hills, man? I mean, why I need to put them in hills? Can't I put them around me? Can I put them in a dish, four of them? I mean, what the point of four hills? What does that mean? Stupid story. They will come flying to you in haste, you know. So go and then call them. Don't forget to call them. Uh, he will say to you, see, he called them. Still, it is Allah. He gave the life according to the verse. The verse we speak about Jesus, Abdul, it was Jesus saying, I, not Allah, I. Do you not understand? I. I forgot you are a Muslim. You understand nothing, you hear nothing, you know nothing. Let us move this thing here so people can read with us. Okay, so I, let us see how many I there is. I fashion to you out of the clean likeness of a bird, and I breathe into the bird huh? and make it a bird. Who is the one doing that? Jesus I all those about Jesus none of those to give the verse you give me none of them says that Abraham said I fashion birds I breathe do you know what it mean I breathe it's mean I create life from the breath of Jesus life is coming to this bird this is how easy to give life breathe you see, this is about how simple it is for God, how easy. You see, I am breathing now. Imagine every time I breathe, I create a life. You see how easy it is? You don't feel yourself when you breathe, unless you are sick and you are smoked too, too much. So it's very easy. And this is how it is for Jesus. Where in the verse you gave me that Abraham, he breathed and he gave life? It says Allah, he gave life. Stop being stupid. And then you will say to me, okay, it's by Allah leave. Who care about saying by Allah? This is Muhammad saying that. But what is confirmed that Jesus said, according to the Quran, I breathe into it and it's going to become a bird. I announce to you, I announce to you what you eat. When they ask Muhammad about the future, he said, if I know the future, I will, I will get the best of it for myself. Uh, Jesus, he knew even what you hide. He know the unseen. You see, this is not about prophecy no more. Prophecy is God telling me a prophesying about things will happen in the future. But to tell you what you ate at home, this is not a prophecy no more. This is about a person who exists everywhere. If I tell you right now what you said before you come, or what you did before you come to me, or what you, what you had done all day long, before you come to me or all your life this is not about prophecy this is about me knowing what you did and that's not an option for anyone except God if we go to the Quran we will find the following who is the one who knows the unseen who is the one knows the unknown uh, what I say to myself right now in my head is unknown. You will see even in the Bible, Jesus can read the mind of people around him and he tell them what they are thinking about. So here you will see, it says, I announce to you what you eat and what you store in your house. Not only what you ate, what you store up, which means what you hide in your houses. How he can do that? Let us see how he can do that. When, when they ask your 